The play of the week. Got play action. Atwater throws deep left side. Man wide up. A catch made by Montague. And he's going to go down the far sideline. 10 5 touchdown. As the Prairie D backs bit on the fake to Jared Garman. And Josh Montague, the 6 7 wide receiver, was wide, wide open. That's the 65 yard touchdown pass from Linmar's Mark Atwater to Josh Montague on the first play from scrimmage in the 7th ranked Lions 41 0 win last week over Cedar Rapids Prairie, as called by Scott Unash of KG. GYM AM 1600 in Cedar Rapids. Listen for our play of the week featuring our Iowa Sports Connection affiliates each week at this time. Back to tonight where it will be a rematch of the 2008 state championship game in Class 1A as 5th ranked in 5-0 and Emmitsburg visits 4th ranked in 4-1 and West Line in Inwood with both teams 3-0 and in District 2. Emmitsburg won the 08 championship contest 3-0 which just adds to the history between these storied programs. And Hawk head coach Mike Dunlap says the fact that both teams are now in the same district should only add to the rivalry. Yeah, I don't think that's ever going to go away. You know, for years we've played those guys, and they've always been great games, whether it's been at West Lyon or it's been here in Emmitsburg. So it'll certainly be another one of those physical games and two teams that want to run the ball. Emmitsburg leads 1A in rushing at 439 yards per game. But West Lyon head coach Jay Roseboom believes he knows the Ehawk attack well. It starts up front. They do a great job of running the belly, the belly keeper, and then the trap. And then they, they run some very, very really strong ISO, and so... They're really good up front. Their offensive linemen do a great job of getting after people and locking on. They're good-sized kids. Their backs all run hard. So it comes down to us defensively is just knowing our responsibilities and not give up any ground and, and running downhill to the ball. Also in 1A, second-ranked Applington Parkersburg makes the 16-mile trip to rival Dyke New Hartford for a renewal of a game that captivated national audiences the last two years in season openers that followed natural disasters and tragedy, respectively. But this one is probably a bigger game, with both teams at 5-0, and 3-0 and in District 3. Just ask AP's first-year head coach Alex Pollock. It's always going to be a huge matchup, and you know I know our guys get excited for it, and I'm pretty confident their guys do as well. So just the fact that both teams are undefeated right now and in the same district just adds to the emotion. Elsewhere in 1A, 7th-ranked Woodward Granger 5-0, 3-0 in District 4 is in Jewel at South Hamilton, which is 3-2, and 2-1. 4 and 1 Lawton Bronson visits 3 and 2 Prairie Valley Gallery with both teams 2 and 1 in District 1 and 3 and 2 West Central Valley as Stewart also travels to 4 and 1 Mount Air with both teams 2 and 1 in District 7. The state's best story may be in 2A where Comanche lost its 38th straight game in its season opener but has since reeled off four straight wins to come into tonight's game at 5 and 0 in top ranked Iowa City Regina facing a battle for first place in District 5 with both teams 3 and 0. Comanche head coach Steve Doherty knows his team is a big underdog, but it relishes the limelight as a program that's made the playoffs just once in 50 years. Well, we've been keeping the same team pretty much since week one, and that is to focus on the things that we can control. You know, our team is really starting to get accustomed to having some success, and it's just a great opportunity to play the number one team in the state you know, to really measure where your program stands. Elsewhere in 2A, 5th-ranked Western Christian 5-0, and 3-0 and in District 1, plays at Sheldon, which is 4-1, and 2-1. and 10th-ranked Pellet Christian 4-1, and 2-1 and in District 8, is at PCM Monroe 3-2, 3-0. and, two, three and oh. Albia visits Mediopolis in a game between two teams that are 4-1, and 2-1 and in District 6. And in District 7, Collins Maxwell Baxter 4-1, and 2-1 and is at West Marshall, which is 3-2, and 3-0, and oh, while St. Edmund plays at Roland Story with both teams 4-1, and 2-1. And Class A features a clash of two 5 0 District 4 unbeatens as third ranked North Tama plays at ninth ranked Postville. North Tama has been one of the state's stingiest defenses the last two years, and it started this season with three straight shutouts, giving up just 23 points thus far. But Postville is stout defensively, too, so North Tama head coach Brent Thorne expects this one to be a rugged affair. I think it's going to be really physical. <clears throat> I really think it's going to be a physical affair. I mean, obviously, we're having to travel up to their place. You know, it's a top 10 matchup. But for anybody that loves high school football, this is where it's at. You know, is for uh, potentially the district championship on the line or just to be the front runner anyway. A's other top games feature top ranked in 5 0 Madrid at 3 2 Guthrie Center, with both teams winners in their district 7 openers. And 8th ranked in 4 1 BGM plays at 3 2 Lone Tree in an intriguing non district matchup. Finally, an eight man, sixth ranked Fremont Mills Tabor spent the previous two seasons in Class A, but it appears to like it back in the eight player game as it will take a 5 0 record to 4 1 Stanton with both teams 3 0 in District 8. While Stanton is a perennial eight man power, the undefeated start and big spot tonight is a bit new to Fremont Mills, according to head coach Jeremy Christensen. Yeah, it's uncharted territory for us, obviously. Uh, you know, not just for the kids, but, you know, for everyone involved. 
we haven't been in the playoffs since 82. And, you know, in a game of this magnitude, probably haven't been one of those for a long time either. So, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how the kids respond in a game like this. They're going to be able, they're going to get first downs. You know, we're going to turn the ball over. A lot of things are going to happen, so it's just how everybody responds, and hopefully in the fourth quarter we're put ourselves in position to have a chance. Elsewhere in eight-man, ninth-ranked West Bend Mallard, 5-0, 3-0 in District 2, plays at 10th-ranked Brettinger Terrell, which is 4-1, 2-1. 3-2 Grandview Park Baptist visits 5th-ranked and 5-0 Moravia, with both 3-0 in District 5. And 8th-ranked Janesville, 5-0, 3-0 in District 3, travels to Clarksville, which is 4-1, 2-1. And that will do it for the Friday Night Live football forecast, sponsored by Des Moines Imports. This is Mike Ferlazzo. Now enjoy this great night at a game near you. The Friday Night Live football forecast is a production of the Iowa Sports Connection. Listen for the results of all of these games and more on the Friday Night Live scoreboard show tonight starting at 10 o'clock. And for more online, visit iowasportsconnection.com.